Howdy everyone, welcome back into the video. So we got a uh, new announcement coming out of the Summer summer Game Fest as a new Sonic game was announced. This was, this is a new 2D Sonic game with a new art style and direction called Sonic Superstar. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play the trailer for you and then we'll go over everything that was known. Enjoy the video. Man, Sega, man, <laughs> I tell ya, Sega's been on fire when it comes to Sonic recently in the past year, past year because we got the two Sonic movies, the upcoming Knuckles spin-off show on Paramount Plus, Sonic Prime Season 2 coming up in next month on Ju in mid-July, and now and then Sonic Origins Plus coming out in a few weeks, I have that, I have that pre-order ready, so I'm kind of excited about that. And now we have this, not to mention the upcoming Sonic Frontiers DLC that's coming as well. That is still to come this year, but man. Sega, man, like Sonic is having a bit of a resurgence right now, and uh, I'm all for it. <laughs> and it's about darn time, man. It's about freaking time, if you ask me. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to, let's get to the, neat, the grit and the details regarding this game. As we're going to go over some screenshots first, and there was a rumor that I kind of want to, you know, touch about because looks like that rumor was legitimate with since this game is official now. So let's get the screenshots first. So here we got this one. Now we got this one, which just shows, you know, the you know, our four friends, you know, seemingly <laughs> about to engage a boss battle. And I think we've seen the boss battle in the trailer, funny enough. And we got this one, where Sonic is glowing blue. This seems to be one of the new abilities that will be, uh, detailed, you know, kind of later. Then we got this one. This seems to be maybe like a uh, special stage or something like that, maybe? Who knows, though, but time will tell. Then we got this one, where Sonic is in this, like, Green Hill-like environment. Obviously, it's not Green Hill. Obviously, it's something different. Next up, we got this one, where he, again, in this, in this zone, but... It seems to be like a new location and a new date in a different day type of day too because I remember Sonic 4 actually did something like this so maybe they're kind of going similar to similar direction with that but time will tell with that then we then we have this one where this is a complete new location this looks like some kind of um, like some kind of city or something at least judging by the houses or, or something like that which is like pretty unique this kind of reminds me of like Japan or China or something like that. So that's, you know, that feudal area. So that's really cool. And then we got this one where this is in that zone again, but only this time you're playing as Amy. So as you can see, you've actually played as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy as it's shown in the trailer. So it seems that she uses her hammer to deal with enemies. And as you can see, again, using, you know, has her hammer out ready to go. Then we got this one, final this final screenshot right here, which shows Knuckles gliding throughout this zone. Now it's actually 
now that uh, let's get all the screenshots are out of the way let's actually get to this rumor that i kind of touched upon earlier so what was this rumor that i i keep talking about well it's this where this was posted by soa city i took a screenshot of this tweet way back when when i first saw this because I thought it would have been useful, so I'm kind of glad that I did. But anyway, rumor, take as a grain of salt, new 2D title in development, dumped internally by Sonic Team, uses the retro engine, features the modern cast, so Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, working title Sonic 5, shelved as of February 2021, it was near complete back then, has resumed development since. And now, considering that we have Sonic Superstars being official, yeah, that rumor, I say that rumor was legitimate, Regarding it being shelved or whatnot, I think it's pretty obvious as to why it was. Because of, because clearly Sonic Frontiers was like, like they were pushing that game hard, hard as hell, ever since 2021. So you kind of see where the timeline kind of wraps up. So you kind of see why, why they, why they shelled Superstars and now that Sonic Frontiers is finished. Sure, it's still getting DLC and all that, but... Now that they can actually finish up Superstars to get that out the door for this year. So it seems that, you know. And Sega said that they were going to push hard on Sonic this year as well, like they did last year. So, you know, and here we are because we got a lot of stuff coming. So, um, you know. But if there's even more, more news on here, in a Game Informer article, it was actually noted that the original designer for the series is back for the first time since Sonic Avenger all the way back in 1998. So, so long ago, you know, so, so as you can see here, for the first time since Sonic Avenger, original Sonic the Hedgehog designer and artist Nado Ohoshima, I probably said that wrong, he returning to the franchise as the original designer for Sonic and Dr. Eggman, he will bring an all new character to the franchise through Sonic Superstars. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Hey, New characters coming to the franchise? I think that's great, especially if they're done well. So, I'm all for that. Now, let's actually get to the website actually has the, has details as well. So, let's, let's get to that, shall we? And before we begin, I'd like to note that the that they also confirmed that the basic price for the game is $60 compared to $70. So, it's going to be $60 like Sonic Frontiers. I don't know how I feel about a full price 2D Sonic game, but as long as it's good and polished and all that... Hey, I'm all for it, so, you know, it is what it is, so whenever you, you know, kind of want to wait for a sale or whatever, that's on you, you know, that's your choice, but anyway. Alright, new thrills, classic feels, I guess that's the tagline for this game. Adventure through the mystical North Star Islands, and what's it with the, the island thing now? <laughs> anyway, in this all new take on classic 2D Sonic high-speed action platforming, Play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, and harness all new emery powers to move and attack in dynamic new ways. Navigate gorgeous, never before seen environments solo or up with three other players and help and stop Dr. Eggman, Fang, and a mysterious new adversary from converting the island's giant animals into bannocks before it's too late. That new character? I think that Game 4 article is referencing to this new adversary. Anyway, a new spin on a classic. The 2D Sonic high-speed high side-scrolling action platformer you know and love, rematch it with full 3D graphics, new powers and abilities, and all new study and new ways to play. You never played classic Sonic like this before. So, when they do that, it's called 2.5D. You know, kind of like the new Super Mario Bros. series, for example. Anyway, play as your favorite characters, choose from Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, and take advantage of the unique abilities to blaze the paths across the North Star Islands as they race to defeat Dr. Eggman, who has teamed up with an old nemesis, and Fang. For those who don't know who Fang is, he used to be like a character way back when. Like, he first debuted in Sonic Triple Trouble for the Game Gear. I played that game, you know, way back when, and I... I believe I bought it for the 3DS, I believe, on the Virtual Console back then. All those years ago, so, yeah. So I so I kind of know who Feng is. He was also in Sonic the Fires and some other games in, like, more minor roles. But he was also brought in Sonic Mania as a boss. And I forgot which zone it was. I can't remember. It was between, um... Hydro, Li Hydro Zone and, um... In the Oil Ocean Zone from Sonic 2. I can't remember what the exact name. I'm sure I'll probably think of it later, probably. I just can't think of it on top of my head. But anyway, let's get... Let's finish the details. 
Harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds, multiply, swim up waterfalls, change form, and more with the powers of the Chaos Emeralds. Oh! So... So you don't just hold on to the Emeralds to save all seven. Cool. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't been done before, but awesome. I like this idea. Anyway, more friends, more fun. For the first time ever in a Sonic game, play through the entire campaign with up to three other players with drop-in and drop-out co-op, four-player local co-op. Fuck! The reason I put that meme in there, I was like, damn it, you literally had it, Sega. Man, it would've been the perfect cherry on top of this of this cake, man. It would've been online frickin' co-op. Like, do you know how awesome that would be? Man, that would've been so sick. Like, it would've been really, really freaking cool. To have online co-op in a 2D Sonic game? Oh, that would've been heaven. That would've been heaven, but... So yeah, the, I say that's an L on my on their part with this. Unless they somehow change their minds later on and do it like a like post launch, but still though, it sh it was right freaking there, it turned right in their face, and they didn't do it. Thanks, shame because I remember that was kind of a thing. Recently, I said the post update thing, cause I was kind of hoping because um that happened with Super Maker Two in 2019 for those who don't know, where they had to add. At it, you know, in that game, and a post launch update, so that would be kind of cool if Sega did that later on, but who knows? But still, though, it's all don't get me wrong, it's also not co op is even there at all. And the fact you could play through the entire campaign in w with your friends that's awesome, that is really cool, you know, that's really sweet, you know, really cool though, Sega to have co op there. I think it should have online co-op because a lot of games that have co-op are online now. So it's so it's kind of weird that you have co-op for a Sonic game, but it's not online. Okay, that's so weird, but maybe they tried it. Maybe they tried down the line. Who knows, but oh well. It is what it is at this point, but still though, what do I think of it? I think it looks really cool. It looks really cool. I say a pretty hype announcement. I sh because as I put on Twitter, like, that was a very raw reaction that I did. Like, I said, like, holy blank, you kind of get the whole idea. Because that was just a genuine shock. I didn't think of the, I didn't think of that rumor from last month. I didn't even think of that at the time. You know, until I was, until I just thought of it before making this video. I was like, oh, the, oh, looks like that rumor that I, I tweeted, you know, I uh, showed last month, you know, on Twitter was actually, was actually true. What do you know? So, <laughs> but anyway, fall 2023. So, um, you know, I guess, wow. So, Frontiers and last year and, and you know, Superstar this year. So, very cool. Very hype announcement, personally. So, I'm pretty excited for it. So, for those who are a Sonic fan, well, what's your take on this announcement? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you plan on picking up the game, uh, what part are you going to pick it up on? I'll probably pick it up on Xbox, probably. And maybe when I get a gaming PC, maybe I'll pick it up. You know, on Steam as well. But still, though, really hype announcement. I'm very excited for this. Anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And consider hitting that sub button so you do not miss any more videos. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, have a good one.